Last time on Total Drama, the players had a ball that quickly rolled into a pit that everyone had to escape. Dave tried to kiss Sky a lot. Then he made out with a bat. Sugar found a way to shed a little light on things, while Max and Scarlet found more than they should have. And Team Muskwalk showed us how not to win a challenge in the most disgustingly hilarious way ever. No one went home, but I busted out a little McLean evil and made Max and Sky switch teams. But this is today, and someone will blast away. So hip, hip, hooray for total drama on Cattail Island! Stage two sleep spindles were low frequency, followed by an intense delta or slow wave. You slept well. Scarlet's all right. A little weird, but harmless. Fruit? Thanks. <sighs> Fruit makes you sad? No, I just... I got used to having breakfast with Dave every morning. We were just friends, but I'm still gonna miss... No, no, no! You can't have feelings for the enemy. I used to have a thing for Sean, but... Sean? Yes? Okay, but I ended it. The only person you can count on is you and me while we're on the same team, but no one else. Deal? You're right. And don't worry, I'm a team player. You got a deal. That could have been a double date high five. Me and Jasmine, Dave and Sky. I mean, who knows? Oh, she totally hates me right now. I gotta win her back. <laughs> You braying imbecile! Confound these wretched sleeping quarters! Ugh, evil needs a chiropractor! Say evil again! Turn your ears on, everybody! He's gonna say it! I do not take orders from talking animals. I give them, and they are evil. <laughs> that, Max, is funnier than a June bug caught in my granny's wig. Evil! <laughs> Why so glum? Hmm. It's because you thought you and Sky were a perfect couple, and now that she switched teams, you know there's little to no hope of you two ever, ever, ever getting back together? Yeah. Cheer up, Sadie! We've got a real live genius head on our team now! Let's not mess this up like we did with the wizard. <sighs> ah! A little warning would be nice. The Zhams give no warning. Get your head on straight or they'll open it up like a yogurt container. Tree bark shares these? Nah, I'll just, uh, starve. Don't be down. Sky and Jasmine are on the same team. It'll be 24 7 girl talk over there and they'll come back to us in no time. Hey, maybe you're right. Attention, my soon to be victims! Your fate awaits at the grand clearing. Last one there eats a rotten egg. The last one. Ugh, forget it. Last one there. It's a rotten egg. See? Sounds better with a more youthful inflection. Agree or strongly agree? Ugh. Ugh. Been using old man Chris's cell to leave messages with the network about going with a younger host, i.e., me. Still haven't heard back. Might be time to step it up. And Topher arrives last, so he gets to eat the rotten egg. Aw, oh, man, for real? Lucky for you, it's already in Sugar's stomach. Smell what you missed, sucker! <gasps> Dave! Don't! He's the enemy, and he'll turn on you the first chance he gets. Listen up, campers. Today's challenge is called Hush or die. The teams have to race through three separate and unique danger zones. 
Three zones have one thing in common, though. The noisier you are, the greater the danger becomes. Area one is called the Lion's Lunch. You gotta sneak through a field of sleeping lions, wake one up, and your lunch. Huh. But they're sleeping, so... Oh, and there are rattlesnakes, too. Oh, that's bad. Um, a rattlesnake's poison is kinda deadly. The venom in our snakes has been slightly diluted, so you'll only feel like you're gonna die. If you make it out of that zone alive, maybe you'll die in area two. The Pasta Blaster! Make a noise in zone two, blindfolded chef will blast you with pasta. <laughs> Noodles can't kill anyone. True. Unless the burning hot noodles cause you to scream and wake up the carnivorous pasta bear, forcing your team to untangle you before you're eaten alive. Well, yeah, that could kill someone. The last phase of the challenge is crossing the avalanche zone. You kind of ran out of creative steam coming up with the name for that one, huh? <laughs> Old age will do that to you. Chef, give me a shot. 10 o'clock, 73 degrees high, please. <laughs> Oh! Not the hair! Oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> I mean, ha! these little games might be challenging for old people, but not us. You really need to start thinking younger, Chris. Hmm, Topher makes a good point. You're all so young and agile. I should step it up. So now, everyone will have to carry a special something through the entire challenge. It'll make it way harder. Everyone say, Thanks, Topher. Thanks, Topher. Okay, release the babies. <gasps> this can't be legal. Evil doesn't change soiled nappies. <laughs> They're sleeping. You wake a lion up with a crying baby, and it's not gonna be a party. There's there, baby baby. Stay a sweepy weepy for Maxie. <laughs> I mean, prepare to evil, tiny minion. And go. You're piddling and steer clear of the lions and snakes. <sighs> Here's the plan we maintain a lead on them and wake up the danger we've already passed, and then let them deal with the lions. All in? Sounds good. Uh huh. Whatever. Mm, well, but Dave. They are the enemy. Mm, yeah. You here to win or whine? Making it harder on the other team is a valid strategy. I just feel bad putting Dave in danger on purpose. I'm here to win. Good. Come on, let's go. What the? Weren't we just standing behind a tree? Maybe I need glasses. Okay, that was just a parting gift. From here onward, Dave and I are enemies. Totally. We're gonna be together forever. Totally. Hmm. I'm mind melding with the reptile. He will sense our shared evil and become my pet sidekick. Also, I have the perfect name for him. Socks the Snake. I command you to... Yes, with a sweetie kiss. <laughs> Is that your evil, weevil baby? <laughs> I could laugh at you all day long. Yes, all evil needs an heir. Shh, Tay. We're almost out. Yes! A text! Uh-huh. I figured it was...
was the network texting that I was replacing Chris's host. But no, it was his mom sending him a cute picture of a cat sleeping in a shoebox. This is not good. You got that right. And I'll put this phone on vibrate. Will Team Gino Sewak be eliminated from the challenge and existence right now? Or will they somehow escape the kings of the jungle? And hey, what's Topher doing with a cell phone? We're all gonna find out soon here on Total Drama on Cattail Island! On three, we run. One, no, stay! Sky, catch! Good thinking! Oh, yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Wow! What just happened? Panthera Leo are apex predators, not unlike Ursos Arctos Horribilis. So their instinctive predator prey response is don't run from lions or bears, show them you're the boss. What? How did you beat us? Sleeping cats and oversized poisonous worms with fangs are nothing compared to the zombie apocalypse. I'm glad to see you made it. Not that I doubted. Save the flattery for someone who cares. Ooh, and Sean is left burned as Team Kinosewak moves on to Area 2. Hey, I was gonna say... Ahem. <clears throat> Since all of Team Gino Sewak made it through the lion's lunch, they're ready for the Pasta Blaster. <laughs> <laughs> Level three! Time to step up your game, or I'm gonna step on your game. She's right! Time to show those network execs what I've got. Check it! Five years of on-camera poise classes! Get ready for the Topher experience! Ooh! Ah! <laughs> Forget to tell you the field is full of booby traps? My bad. Uh oh, here comes Pasta Bear. Quick, Sky, untangle him. Scarlet, jump up and scare the bear. Did I forget to tell you that Pasta Bear is running on smell? My bad. Isn't that Bling Bear wearing a? Hurry, Sky! Thanks for coming back for me. Yeah! Um, where's your baby? Oh, yeah! Huh? What the? Uh-oh. Oh, come on! It's just like the time I took my little brother to town and lost him. Little, uh, little... I can't even remember his name. Will this be the end of Sugar's short life? Saying I hope so seems wrong, but... <gasps> Wait, geek... What? You scare me quite a bit for a living person. Hey, come on! We can still win this! Team Muskwalk are into zone two! But do they have what it takes to catch up to Gino Sewak? Unless Gino Sewak figure out their problem soon, I'd say yes. Don't leave me! We all have to cross the finish line to win, remember? <laughs> Again. Come on! We're losing now! Sky! Hey! Sky! Stay away from him, Sky! D don't step on that horn! Remember what we talked about earlier? Are you a team player or a team trader? Pick! Now!
A little pepper from our last takeout meal should do the trick. <laughs> Time to eat! I got your baby! <laughs> this is not going to end with... Anymore. Just leave me here. No can do. We all gotta finish or we lose the challenge. You! More quickly, I command it. Take off, Furball. This ain't dinner for two. Find your own grub. with my weirdo evil buddy waddy Looks like Team Gino Saywalk is going to cross the second finish line first. Yes! Go team! Oh, oh, oh! Hold up for a second. I have all four bars. If you keep us from winning, you'll wish you'd never met me. Um, when did Scarlet get so scary? Congratulations, Team Gino Saywalk. Still in the lead and just one more zone to go. First, I need you to hand in your babies. Why? Lawyers called Chef and said something about danger and babies and lawsuits, blah, 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 blah. So you uh, didn't have a backup plan to uh, keep things interesting, huh? It's like you're losing your touch or something. Slow your roll, Junior. Okay, seriously. Why haven't I seen this part of the island before? It's like it just popped into existence. Nope, always been here. Maybe you aren't as observant as you think. Oh, please, just let me quit. I didn't carry you through 400 meters of bear-infested booby-trapped terrain so you could bail. You think Sky wants to date a quitter? Give your head a shake. Yeah, maybe put some shush on. Get up and show her you're a champ! You're right. Then get up, dude! Uh, 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 can't. The snake bites have numbed my everything. Oh, man. I've already told you I did hand in the child. What need could I possibly have for an extra 10 pounds of adorb abomination? <coughs> oh, this baby. Yes, well... Here, take it. Hey! Stay evil, my mini minion. Yes! Little Sky sees me now! And Team Muskwalk is finally entering the avalanche zone. But with the lead Gino Sewak has, they'll be hard to catch. It's the network! You got the tilt, man. We've been watching you, kid, and... We like what we see. Well, thank you for noticing. It's time we put Chris out to pasture. You interested in taking over the show? <gasps> yes! 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 I'm gonna rip you and you. <gasps> Ow! <laughs> and it's Musquark for the win. That's right, Sky. I'm the man. I'm Big Jam Dave. But before we go any further. Max, we need the baby back. What? You think... Why would I... What? This? It's a... An evil hump. An evil giggling hump. I... <sighs> Fine. <laughs> what are you so happy about? You know you're going home, right? We'll see who goes home. Scarlet! <laughs> Jasmine, Sky, you're safe. And I'm ecstatic to announce that you're eliminated, Chris! Ha! Who, me? Whatever do you mean? Newsflash, Chris is going home and I'm taking over the show. <gasps> I got the phone call from the producers during the challenge. That's why I cheered and that's why I don't care that we lost because I am now in charge! Ha! Yes! Oh, Topher, sorry to say, but there's been a change of plans. <laughs> huh? You? No, it, it can't, can't be. 
Here's a lesson. When it comes to showbiz, never play a player. <laughs> I knew he had my phone all along. How'd you know he was calling the producers? It's what I would have done. But why the sunglasses and mustache? He couldn't even see you. Dude, it's called getting into character. Look at this. You with it. No, mustache. You got a lot to learn, kid. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Good riddance. It just goes to show you that with age comes the wisdom to recognize yourself in someone else and the courage to fire them out of a cannon. Tune in next time for more pain and less tougher right here on Total Drama Hot Cattail Island.